Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4, Death or Dishonor, playing of course the Austro-Hungarian Empire. I have real trouble saying that name, I don't know why. It is 22nd of May, 1944, and we're doing very, very well. Uh, just take a look at the map. Let's just, let's just really you know, look back and think, holy shit, we conquered this. So, first thing we need to do, I'm bored, I want to start the war, but we can't do that until we have everyone in the correct divisions. So, we need to make some new front lines. So let's make some goddamn new front lines. You guys are in the Western Theater. Why can't I select all of this? Western Front. Good. You guys are also in the Western Front. Because at the moment everyone's in like a random fucking place, which is really irritating. You guys need the good general. You guys need a new field marshal. Uh, I'm gonna come out. I need a bunch of commanders, basically. Like, just a fucking ton of commanders. There we go. Cool. And you guys need a front line going from Hamburg all the way up there. Beautiful. You guys also need a front line just in case the war begins. For some reason, you know, we're able to kick ass. Alright, who else is on the western front? Uh, we got these assholes over here. Good. You guys need a new general. Good shot. You're in the western front. Nice. You. Alright. You need a general. You're also on the western front. Beautiful. You also need a goddamn uh, offensive line. Bam, there we are. Right, you guys are on a completely different line. You guys are on the southern front. Because I think it's going to be a good idea to make separate areas. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to see what the fuck we're doing. Southern front. There it is. Awesome. You guys know what you're doing? Good. We have the Italians. They are also on the southern front. I think the Italians need a lot more troops. We'll figure it out. Right, everyone else is going to be on the eastern front. Because that is the widest front that we have. It is insanely wide. And I'm just drifting to the side. Alright. What the fuck are you doing? You go there. Jesus. You guys have a line. You guys have a line. You guys have a line. But we need to give everyone generals. These guys here are basically all about just nicking that territory as fast as possible. So you're going to need your own field marshal as well. Beautiful. Everyone else needs a general. Just a fucking ton of generals. So many generals. Alright, we just had a big recruitment of generals. Everyone has missions, everyone has assignments. We know what we're doing. You guys, you guys have a very special job. It's to survive. That's your job. However, one of you is going to not be here. Instead, you're going to stand there and guard that forever. So we don't have to fucking die. There we go, and we're just going to put a bunch of forts there. Because you're probably going to die very, very quickly. Whoops, forgot to shift-click it. Just insanely quickly you're going to die. And we don't want that at all, do we? Now that everyone has their visions, once we were just waiting for that last surge of tanks, and then away we go. I am extremely concerned, however. The British have been putting a shit ton of troops on this front line. Just a massive shit ton. So I have a lot of concerns about this front line. But, we're gonna have to make do. Wow, they have a lot here. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? So, we need to, uh, start securing this area. Uh, we need to start moving some of these planes out of here, though. Let's see if we can get this thousand planes somewhere else. Because what the fuck. Good shit. Okay. We should be okay. Ah. Yugoslavia. They have planes. Let's put our own planes down. Because we are going to try and need to secure air superiority over here. That's what we're going to need. How are we doing? Are we overwhelmed here? Also, you guys, you also need to go to the uh, that area. There you go. That's going to help us out a little bit. Try and maintain some other kind of air superiority. 
As soon as we get those tanks, we are away, ladies and gentlemen. I am quite scared. But I believe we can do this. I believe that we have our power within ourselves. We can do it. Oh man, field hospitals. Fuck me. Definitely need those. Uh, everyone's got... These guys don't have field hospitals yet. What the fuck? Oh god, it's gonna kill my motorized equipment. Well, we have to do it, because otherwise everyone's gonna die. Uh, so that's kind of killed our motorized. Holy shit. Um, that's bad. So now I don't think we can really go to war for a little while. Because we don't have any fucking motorized equipment. What do we have a lot of? We have a lot of artillery and infantry equipment. The fuck, where else are you going? I was filling out that motorized, that's fine. How about for SP artillery? We have literally thousands. Jesus Christ. We have way too many of those. Alright, that, that helps, I guess. And the Russian Federation has declared war on Iran. These guys are fucking going ham. Holy shit. We need rubber. So much rubber. And we need oil. Alright, well, you, you enjoy yourself, buddy. Russia's going crazy. That's where the majority of Russian forces are. Well, we can't really do anything now until we have the deficit of motorized kick uh, dealt with. So we're going to have to wait at least a little while. Because Jesus Christ. That was not my brightest idea. But we ne we honestly, we need it. If we don't, we're going to get completely fucked. Why am I making so many light tanks? Oh yeah, because I need them. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm using them. Let's just try and turn down some of this shit. Here we go. Is that is that enough? Near enough. Oh boy. There we go. All right. Now we need more rubber. So we're gonna need to wait another maybe a couple months before we can start the war. I ain't going into this with no motorized equipment. I'll get fucked. Like, I will get destroyed. I don't want that. Oh, we need to get rocket artillery. Damn. Those forts are almost done, which is great. I have some concerns about the war effort, I'm not going to lie. But I think we're going to be fine. We've got this. The capital in Budapest. We're getting computers and shit. Computers are always good. Ooh, radar stations and such. I think this is going to be fine. Just gonna secure as much territory as possible and see what happens. And hope we don't all horribly, horribly die. That would be terrible. Hey, look at this though. We're really dealing with a deficit. A month. We'll have it in a month, and it keeps climbing down because our production efficiency keeps going up as well. So basically within the month, then plus a week, so as to build up a bit of a stockpile. We have a lot of infantry equipment. We have good for artillery. We have good for ant relatively good for anti-tank. Our tank supplies are fine. Support equipment seems fine as well. Good stuff. Okay, I think we may be importing a bit too much, a bit too much steel. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't be importing so much steel. This seems like an odd amount of steel that we are we are importing. What's happening? Why am I importing 152 steel? Jesus, France! What? What the fuck? Oh, it's because I'm not building as much infantry equipment now. That's why. Alright. Here we go, boys. We have infantry attack, infantry defense. Half need to join the Italian offensive. Half need to join the Yugoslavian offensive. All right, I think we're good. We have way too many troops here. Look at this, this is crazy. More needs to go on the Italian front. This is getting insane. All right, this is it. 
We built up the sufficient amount of equipment, relatively speaking. I think we're good. Let's do this. Just gonna wait like three days, like a week. We're gonna wait a week to build up a little bit of a stockpile. Just so that we have enough equipment for the war. Because it's gonna be a long fucking war. But once we take the mainland, it'll be okay. Once we take the mainland, we'll be alright. Oh, these guys are fascist. Awesome. Alright, let's get to 1,000 motorized equipment before we try anything. We'll, uh, we'll redo the supplies in a minute, because that's gonna, they're gonna get completely fucked. Alright, I think we're good, guys. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm so fucking ready. Take flame state. I don't have any allies. Yep, there's all the alliances. Oh boy. Alright. Western front. Go. Central front. Sit quietly. Eastern but front. Sit, sit quietly until reinforcements arrive. You guys. Advance. Advance. Every one of you advance. Uh, you know what? You guys advance as well. You got you guys advance as well. Western front. Advance. French front, stand still. This front, also advance. Good shit. Because we kind of just need to take things as fast as possible. Southern front. Take it all. Uh, maybe be a bit more selective in what you do. Don't just take everything. But here we are. Battle is joined. And 11 divisions from Nationalist Spain. And Bulgaria sending us two divisions. We're not fascist, buddy. We are, you know, we're... Yes, yes, yes. Commonwealth, etc., etc. Okay, so immediately, the eastern lines are fine. The Balkan line is crumbling. Oh, yes. Okay, so now we have issues of, uh, we need resources. Is the French commune not in the Allies? No, it's not. What? I should have attacked France. Fuck. They're communists. Oh, no. Uh, no, we're not going to send... You're not going to get any divisions, because we're going to kill you pretty quickly. Let's be honest with ourselves here. So we, uh, we need some... We need some resources. Uh, who would like to give me some resources? Thank you. Yeah, that's going to hurt our resources just a touch. Oh, boy. Yeah, we can't produce shit now. <gasps> oh, man, because we were importing so much. Okay, what the fuck are you doing? There's no one here. Take everything. Let's go. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Come on. Oh, hey, that went well. Holy shit, that went very well. Take that. Let's go. Um, half of you go over there, I suppose. You guys go on that line. Wow, this is going very well. All right. Shit, we've basically automatic already eaten up a good chunk of the country. You know what, guys? You guys do stuff too. Oh, I haven't given you a front line. Your front line is to just try to survive. Yeah. You do you, buddy. Engage! Just try to fucking escape. Please. Yeah, too low. They're too low on everything. Non-aggression packs from everybody. How about you go fuck yourself? Oh, we're losing thousands, but we're winning thousands too. Yugoslavia's falling. Germany's falling. Uh, I'm thinking maybe we should put some more dudes on this line, because I'm thinking there's a lot right now. Alright, let's edit that front line a little bit, move it there. Go, go, go.
Okay, so it looks like we've actually managed to survive this. And you guys should join. Okay, what the fuck is this? Just fucking take everything, bro. What are you doing? Don't allow any gaps. You can't allow gaps. Oh, well, they're, out of, they're out of supply, so that's good. Italy's falling, which is great. Germany's falling. Surprisingly, the U.S. has not gotten involved. I don't really know why. Hey, man, what you do you? Oh, we've taken quite a lot already, so that's cool. Russian Federation and German Republic are suffering pretty heavily, though we're losing a few hundred thousand men. Oh, good. 13 divisions from some friends. Yes, yes, yes. The Dutch East Indies, etc., etc. Yugoslavia is falling, which is great. And we can turn those troops over to the Italian front. The German front is going very well. Just fucking kill him. What are you doing? Oh my god, you guys are useless. Seriously. There you go. Is that so fucking hard? There you go. Now everyone else join the goddamn Russian front. Let's go. There you go. Yugoslavia's doing okay. You get on that line as well. Germany is suffering pretty heavily. The German Republic doesn't really have long left, it looks like. Good shit. Round up, round up any survivors there. Livonia, or Estonia, or whatever it's called, is dying. Soviet Union is being pushed in very heavily, which is great. No naval invasions. That's a naval invasion. And this is why we're gonna have the guards. This is why we're gonna have the guards. Guys, do you want to maybe stop him? Before he grabs another fucking port? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe fucking stop him where he's, where he's going? There you go, Jesus. Oh, man. The idiots of the AI. Uh, is Germany about to fall? They're close. Yugoslavia's falling, Soviet Union is falling. Okay, we've lost a few hundred thousand people, but so far, I'm happy with this. I'm holding on the on the, fin the finish line. These guys are dead, basically. Take Willemshaven, or whatever you want to call it. And let's keep getting that field uh, hospital. Okay. That's done. That's done. Eastern line is going very well. The Russian Federation's holding on pretty well, but that's all right. To be honest, we're about to obliterate them very nicely. Um, other than that, it's just about protecting the coastlines. German Republic has capitulated, which gives us a nice gigantic chunk of equipment. Hooray, hooray. Good shit. Good stuff. All right, let's go to Brussels. Ace pilot promoted. Nice. We're gonna need 15 divisions here with a different general. Fuck. No, this is a different front line. Clearly, it's a different front line. Why can't I just go everywhere I want? I hate the way the AI makes me decide things. There you go. Cool. You guys get on that line. You also get on that line. 
Livonian order is basically taken care of. Nice. You lot, go over there. Soviet Union's crumbling, which is and Estonia's capitulated. Lovely. Okay. Every one of these guards divisions belongs to me now. Literally every freaking guard division now belongs to me. This is how it works. And they're all going to guard the coastline like fucking maniacs. Just here we are. Your literal job now is just guarding the coast. That's all you do. You sit quietly and you guard the coast. You will have a crappy general. You will garrison the area. You will garrison all the areas that we own along the coast. And all you will do is just make sure that there are no fucking naval invasions. That's all your job is. Naval invasions equals no. Welcome to your life. You will now spend the rest of this war sitting quietly. They actually need a field marshal. Well, looks like you've been promoted. You've been promoted. Congratulations. Are you going to do your job or... There you go. Not so hard, is it? Alright. So we've done quite well, guys. We've captured all of those assholes. These guys will now uh, engage. And these guys will now engage. They will take the rest of that area. We will have basically the entirety of, of Europe. <laughs> we'll finish taking Yugoslavia and Greece and Italy with those forces from the northwest. The guards' divisions will move their guard across the entire world. Um, and that's that's it basically. I'm also gonna add to my guards division military police, which we have not researched. So let me let me do that now. We'll do that now, and then we'll put that in there to make it things a little bit easier. So make sure to check out the other series I have on my channel, as well as I do also support me on Patreon if you'd like to. The links are in the description. And of course, guys, make sure you leave a like in the comment. I'd love to hear your feedback. I was Aldrich Hill, and I'll continue to be. And this has been some Hearts of Iron Four, Death or Dishonor, Austro-Hungarian Empire. Bye bye.